All right, so it is that time for the car to go, sadly. This would be the last time I've ever seen it, and oh well, you know. Ah, I'm gonna miss this car. I've had so much fun in it. A lot of memories created in this car. Oh well, it is what it is, and uh, she's got to go. So I finally brought you the video that you guys all been waiting for and that I've been teasing about on Snapchat. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, this is it. I'm gonna show you what I just recently purchased and upgraded for my old car. As you guys may know, uh, my old car was already failing up on me. The head gasket was already kind of uh, torn up inside the engine. So it was uh, a matter of time until it actually failed on me. So um, I went ahead and got me an upgrade. It was, I think, in my opinion, it's a good purchase. Um, and I tell you guys a little story about my purchases. Yes, because it was purchases uh, or purchase. But we'll get into that a little bit later. So what kind of car is this? What brand car is this? What have I been teasing you guys about? Most of you guessed Subaru, Hyundai, Honda, um, which is not bad at all, because that's where I got the car. I got it at a Honda dealer, uh, believe it or not. It's a used car, had 42,000 miles on it, and I got it for around $14,000. But most of you were right with that Hyundai guess, because it is a Hyundai. It's actually a 2015 Hyundai Sonata. You're waiting for me to say Genesis, but no, that wasn't in my budget, unfortunately. But that will come in later on in the future. Oh man, this car is fun. So yep, that's what I've been driving, the 2015 Sonata. And it's pretty fun to drive. It has a little bit more power than my old car, definitely. I'm running a 2.4 liter engine, uh, GDI, direct injection. And man, I, it, it's really fun to drive. Uh, pulling around 170 horsepower, which uh, is pretty much a little over average. I was looking to get the 200 horsepower, but uh, that didn't came by. The fine part about this car is that I have the capability of doing manual shifting uh, on the shifter right here. I don't have the um, the shifters up on the uh, the paddle shifters. It's really fun for me to get from point A to point B and have it as a daily drive car. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'll be getting three, three let me see, 30 miles per gallon on the highway and 20, average 20, 21 uh, miles per gallon on, on the street, just cause that's how I drive. And I usually have it on sport mode. I have three modes, either the eco, the sport, or the regular mode. Usually put it off on sport cause it gives you more of a um, high revs. So if I put it on eco, it basically turns into a Prius. I got nothing bad to say about Priuses. Yeah, they save a lot of gas. They don't save the environment, but they do save a lot of gas, and that's a lot of money right there. Actually, I might go fill up gas right now, and I'm gonna be spending like about 40 bucks. 40 bucks for 16 gallons. Can't believe this. California, why? Why California? Fucking gas station is packed as hell. Holy shit. It's the only thing I hate about Costco gas stations, that uh, they're always packed as hell. Ooh, that's a nice super wolf. Although the gas is really cheap in price, he gets fucking packed. And that's what I hate. So screw that gas station. I'm just gonna go go get the haircut now because I'm running late. Uh, but the story was, uh, before this car, I actually purchased a 2008 Mazda 3 hatchback. It already came equipped, tinted windows, sunroof, 
uh, muffled delete, cold air intake, uh, touch screen and all that. It was amazing and uh, it was pretty much mine for about one day and uh, the financing company decided not to give us a loan and uh, just took the car back and I was pretty pissed off about that. Uh, but I guess things happen for a reason and I went with this car, it's a 2015 car and I was pretty much able to purchase it uh, almost for the same price of that Mazda. Uh, thankfully, I do have a car which is gonna take me from point A to point B now. And it's amazing, it's pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, later on in the future, I'll trade this in, I'll get something better, um, who knows, Hyundai Genesis. And uh, we'll have more fun, we're actually mod the other car and keep it running for as much as we can. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy my car as much as I am enjoying it. I really love this car and I'm glad that I was able to show you guys. Uh, if you have any questions about this car, if you plan to get this car maybe in the future, let me know. Um, other than that, this is what, what's going to be part of the videos. I'm going to get back to doing that uh, point of view vlog with this GoPro. I haven't used this GoPro in such a long time. So I'll be putting it on my head and driving like an idiot, like always. And, uh, but yeah, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to go back to school in a few days or so. Uh, so I'm going to be lagging back on the, uh, on the videos just because I'll be busy. And uh, work hours are crazy right now. So I'll find time to eventually post up a video. And uh, that's pretty much how my life is going right now. So until then, again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next videos. And like always, have a super amazing day. Ready? Oh fucking gosh. Never gets any bad. Oh.